Decarbonizing transportation is like taking on Mount Everest. It's a monumental task, and one of the toughest hurdles we face is the evolution of electric motors. Picture researchers around the globe, huddled in their labs, chasing after a eureka moment that could redefine how we move. What's the goal? An electric motor that's not just sturdy and sleek, but packs a serious punch, shrugs off scorching heat, and, here's the kicker, ditches those rare earth permanent magnets. It's like asking for a unicorn, but the payoff, it could change the game. Enter ZF Friedrichshafen AG, a heavyweight in the automotive parts scene. They dropped jaws with the announcement of their 220 kilowatts traction motor that waves goodbye to rare earth elements. Cue the applause and excitement. ZF's motor is no run-of-the-mill creation. It stands shoulder to shoulder with rare earth permanent magnet synchronous motors, ruling the EV realm. Most EVs today rev up with rare earth magnet-based motors, ranging from 150 to 300 kilowatts, boasting power densities between 1.1 to 3.0 kilowatts per kilogram. ZF's rare earth-free motor clocks in at 220 kilowatts, hinting at a potential revolution in the EV world. So how did ZF pull off this magic trick? It's all in the design. Imagine ZF's motor as a symphony of electromagnets, both in the stator and the rotor, a dance of electricity and magnetism. This ingenious setup kicks rare earth permanent magnets to the curb. In a separately excited synchronous motor, AC juice fires up the stator magnets, spinning a magnetic vortex, while another dose of current jolts the rotor magnets, creating a magnetic field that latches onto the swirling stator field, summoning torque like a wizard. This not only waves bye-bye to rare earth elements, but also showcases a glimpse of the future, high-performance, eco-friendly EV motors. The ripple effect of ZF's rare earth-free motor is staggering. It's not just about slashing costs in EV manufacturing. It's about taking a stand for our planet. By giving the boot to rare earth elements, ZF is steering us away from the environmental hazards of mining and processing these precious materials. Plus, it opens the door to a new chapter in sustainable transportation. Now, imagine a world where EVs hum with motors free of rare earth shackles, where innovation meets eco-consciousness head on. It's not just a dream. It's a glimpse of what's to come traditionally permanent magnet synchronous motors have been the go-to choice for EVs due to their high efficiency and reliability. However, there is a growing interest in alternative motor technologies that can offer improved performance and sustainability. The I2M motor developed by ZF represents a significant advancement in electric motor technology. Unlike traditional permanent magnet motors, the I2M motor does not rely on rare earth elements, making it a more sustainable and environmentally friendly option. This is a significant advantage considering the environmental impact of rare earth element mining and processing. One of the key challenges with traditional inductive motors has been the need for a separate system to transfer power to the spinning rotor magnets. This requirement has often resulted in complex and cumbersome designs, making the motor physically large and heavy. Additionally, the use of sliders and brushes to make electrical contact with the spinning surface has led to issues such as dust production and wear over time. However, ZF claims to have overcome these challenges with its experimental I2M motor by integrating rotor inductance, eliminating the need for a separate power transfer system and resulting in a more streamlined and efficient motor design. This innovation has the potential to significantly reduce the complexity and weight of electric motors, making them more practical for use in EVs. Furthermore, the I2M motor offers the ability to precisely control the magnetic field in the rotor, something that is not possible with permanent magnets. This level of control allows for greater efficiency at high speeds, addressing a common limitation of traditional permanent magnet motors. As a result, the I2M motor has the potential to deliver improved performance and energy efficiency in electric vehicles. ZF Friedrichshafen AG headquartered in Friedrichshafen, Germany, has an impressive history of research and development dating back to 1915. The company's roots can be traced to its early days of supplying gears and other components for Zeppelins. 
Over the years, ZF has evolved into a global powerhouse with a workforce of approximately 168,000 employees spread across 31 countries. One of the key strengths of ZF lies in its ability to innovate and develop commercially successful products. The company has built a strong reputation for its contributions to the automotive industry, particularly in the realm of motors and electric drivetrains. Some of the prominent names that rely on ZF's expertise include Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Jaguar Land Rover. In a significant milestone, ZF recently celebrated the sale of its three millionth motor, underscoring the widespread adoption and trust in its products. This achievement is a testament to the company's commitment to excellence and continuous advancement in the field of electrified powertrain technology. When discussing the importance of reducing the use of rare earth elements in traction motors, Otmar Scher, ZF Senior Vice President of R&D for Electrified Powertrain Technology, shed light on the critical reasons behind this initiative. He emphasized the dual significance of sustainability and cost-effectiveness in driving this strategic shift. Share highlighted the scarcity of rare earth elements, noting that their name is reflective of their limited availability in nature. The extraction process involves significant environmental impact, as large-scale mining operations require extensive excavation and transportation activities, leading to pollution and landscape alterations. These factors underline the ecological footprint associated with rare earth elements, making their reduction a priority from a sustainability standpoint. Rare earth elements are a crucial component in many of the technologies we rely on today, from electric vehicles to renewable energy systems. However, there are concerns about the dominance of China in the production of these elements and the potential impact it could have on global supply chains. According to Share, a staggering 95% of rare earths are currently produced in China. Zhuer further explains that most electric motors fall within the range of 150 to 300 kilowatts, which aligns with the power requirements of passenger cars. These motors typically contain around 1.5 kilograms of magnet material, with a small percentage of this material consisting of pure heavy rare earth elements. While this may seem like a relatively small amount, only 5 to 15 g, it is nonetheless a challenging material to source and process. This is the reason for this permanent magnet-free motor. The concept itself is not new. It has been used for decades because usually power generation is done with this kind of electric machine. For example, in a gas power plant, you would typically find such an externally excited machine as a generator. He mentioned that they did not use them for passenger cars or for mobile applications because of their weight and size. Some of that weight and size problem comes directly from the need to generate a magnetic field in the rotor. To replace the permanent magnets, you need to set copper coils under electricity so that you can carry electric current inside the rotor. This is usually done with sliders, and those sliders generate losses. This is because you typically have carbon brushes touching a metal ring so that you can conduct the electricity. It's clear that the magnet for an electric motor is a breakthrough innovation in the EV industry. It has the potential to transform the EV market by making EVs more attractive and accessible to consumers. Additionally, it contributes to the environmental and economic goals of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and resource consumption. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comment section.